Yo aprendí a hablar dos idiomas cuando tenía cuatro o cinco años. Que puedo hablar con mis amigos de aquí. Lo que hago es jugar en el recreo con mis amiguitos y yo les enseño español a ellos y ellos me enseñan inglés a mí. Because um, it's fun and the people in your house that speak Spanish, you can talk to them in Spanish. And, and uh, my dad speaks Spanish too and I like Spanish. Because it's fun. Because then your brain is smart. I love, I love going in school to say Spanish and English. Mm. I feel really good, like that I know two um, languages. And sometimes people don't get the opportunity to know two languages because. In dual language, you gotta learn two languages and then, like, you learn different languages and then if you don't know one, you could always learn it even more because it's dual language. Ah, uh, sí es para todos. Porque si no era para todos, también no iba a ser fair. Entonces, no iba a ser como alguien que los puede hacer los dos. Y antes personas no podían hacer las dos cosas y ahora sí. Well, because I speak both languages in my house and other people do that too. Like maybe they have a Spanish dad but an English mom. Uh, yeah, it's it's a really it's really fun because we get to learn different languages and uh, we can like change languages whenever we want. Be like, hola, cómo estás, and just cambiarlo, cambiarlo así hablando otros idiomas en bueno inglés y español. Eh, en cuando quieras puedes andar hablando con otra con otras personas, con tus maestros. I started in first grade. I don't think they had it here for kindergarten. Um, and so I was lucky to be one of the few to start it in first grade. And it kind of started growing, and then my sister got the chance to do it in kindergarten. And I was like, dude, that's super cool. <laughs> it's fun because you can like switch to both classes, and each of them have like their own different kind of fun. like. Sometimes you do that, sometimes you do the other thing, like, but they're both fun. And then like, you get to learn different things in each classes. So like, you get to learn science, Spanish, like Spanish, you know, like, like <laughs> Spanish language arts, science, um, social studies in Spanish, and you read math, reading, writing in English. And, you know, the dual language program, it shapes not just your Spanish side of the language, but also English. And Spanish and English, they do have a lot of different correlations when it comes to grammar and especially how they intertwine them throughout the dual language program. It helps build up one off of the other, which definitely helps. And I think for those receiving the seal by literacy from that aspect, it just proves that when you combine those languages working together, it actually does work and it will improve both. Uh, for Pete, that has meant that I am accepted in a way uh, from, you know, having other students be part of it and motivating me through it. Um, I know that as a native Spanish speaker, uh, my parents sometimes feel invalidated or feel scared to go to um, stores and such because they might feel that, oh, they'll be discriminated against. 
um, but having showing them through this program that no, I am accepted, then they too will be in a way. I don't know. I'm thankful to be there. You know, I, there's. I feel like I wouldn't be like the person I am because the, my whole life, like even in school, out of school, whatever, like I've always just tried to like talk to people and stuff. And being able to understand Spanish and connect with people who don't speak Spanish as well, it's just, I don't know, I'm just really thankful that I have that. I think I do feel valued because uh, a lot of people like the Mexican culture and I'm from Mexico and that's what makes me feel special, that people value my culture. I think it's a big deal because not everyone knows two languages and it's not easy, it's something that takes time and hard work. So I'm proud to be part of the dual language program and I think it does rep it does value us as a person because everyone looks up to you and they're like, wow. Estoy de acuerdo que es más de aprenderlo que de cultural porque ahora en mi AP Spanish estoy, estoy en el proceso de aprender cosas sobre cultura de cada lado y es importante porque creo que si vives en algún lugar o hay migrantes hasta un lugar a los Estados Unidos no tenemos un concepto de donde vienes o sobre eso y es importante para tener esos conceptos literaturas porque puedes aprenderlo o saberlo porque muchas veces si no sabes puedes, puedes formar una opinión que no es verdad o cualquier cosa como eso. does bring out my culture a lot, which I like to show to other people, because just showing my culture to other people and seeing them how I live my life um, compared to their life is like different, but also can be exciting at the same time. It's kind of like it's helped me. It's now I know a lot more than I did starting off. So yeah. I, I mean, being able to transfer it makes it a little easier in the fact that I can communicate with more people depending on what it is. Um, but there's still challenges sometimes. Like every once in a while, I'll like know the answer, but I might know it in Spanish, and I don't know how to transfer it over to English occasionally. Or I'll know it in English, but I'll be in a Spanish class, and I won't know exactly how to say it in Spanish. <laughs> Any advice I would give is give it a shot. You've gotten this far already, and as you get older, as I did, you're going to see those big opportunities. You may just continue to enjoy it. And as a whole, this could go for them and for anyone else. Do not give up. If you